we add a little bit of ammonia to it, we'll get more of the blues and the, um, you know, the kind of the iridescent-y look. So that's why you can also just do it by hand. You can use um, a little bit of polishing compound on a soft cloth and you can just rub the top. Um, but most of the time, that's the hardest thing is people go, they just hit it on the polishing wheel mm -hmm. and it removes too much material. So we poured copper and brass, these are brass, we poured them into um, wet brooms that are bound up and you melt the metal and pour it in and you get these really cool stalactite shapes. Now she went home and worked with her saw blade. <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> yeah. Um, a really good um, patina on your metal. And this is true of any time you're patina. This. Okay. Alright, you ready? Get up close, this is so exciting. Okay, so <laughs> it happens really fast. I uh, can control the darkness a little bit. But then when I go to remove the antiquing finish, and the nice thing about the brass brush is if I want to keep it dark, it on. So, and I'm going to show you when I put it in there, you'll see how. It now, if you have a polished surface, and you're doing, then you're and you're wanting to antique more than once, right? So you'll be like, you'll like, oh, this is perfect, and then you'll take it to the polishing machine, you'll polish, po do your final polish, and you'll wash off the polishing compound. Do it more than once, and then that's just part. Uh, of how long for it to dry? Dry. Like. Um, you can actually. That's a good. That's a good question. Um, I actually blot it uh, with some paper towel because if, if you let it dry, um, if you let it air dry with water on it, you will get water spots um, of where the water. Yeah, literally. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. She's been in a lot of bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna just unplug it when we're done. Okay. The containers that we're stacking up from the scrap um, insert it into. You promised to make us rich. <laughs> so in other words, she's having to be in your right hand, That's right. and your um, torch is going to be in your left hand. So I'm going to go. I'm just going to go right in and, and dry up that flux. Make sure you have it right underneath the vent. So if I had them actually thinking about it. Yeah, rope is tricky. I mean it's it <laughs> that's what that means I have to read them. I know. But he's so cool. Melt one. If it's the right size, cut them all. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit too hot. Let me try the brass. Obviously, have different melting temperatures. And always, always, always want your metal to be clean if you want it to melt. This is the basic thing. Yeah. I'm going to start with the copper on this side. Just going to heat it. My torch away, and then I'm going to grab it a rivet or some sort of you know, too much button, not too.